Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're here to discuss why I don't like Katy Perry. Um, a little thing I feel like I have to say at this point. Don't get butt hurt over this. It's honestly just my opinion. I'm just one person. I'm irrelevant to this person's career, so it's okay. We don't have to get carried away. <laughs> So there are a couple of reasons that I don't like her and that she seems like a sketchy person to me. One of those reasons is the fact that she recently shaved her head and became a so-called activist and acts like she's, I hate this term, but woke. And first of all, she's not woke at all. She's not smart either. I'll get into that later. But she's just pretending to be an activist and I can't help but wonder why now? And then I'm like, oh wait, your career isn't doing well. Hmm, what could you possibly do to get attention? Be an activist. Um, aside from this activist thing, she was like apparently like super pushing Hillary Clinton, which I don't care about, but it's again, it's just weird coming from someone who has never really been into or voiced her opinion about politics as far as I know until now. There have been plenty of allegations against her that she's stolen songs and a lot of it is very, very damning evidence if you ask me. One of those examples is California Girls. If you listen to the beat, it's very similar to Kesha's um, TikTok and I know this is all pop music so in a lot of ways they all sound similar but this other one I thought was also very weird. Her song Roar sounds very similar to Sarah Bareilles. I don't know how you say her last name her song Brave. So aside from that, I also found all the kind of drama she had with Taylor Swift was so childish. I mean, they're not in high school anymore and I'm not I'm not saying I know who started it or whatever, but it's just kind of like, why would you as a public figure choose to engage in that kind of shitty behavior? Just shut up about the person if you have such a big problem when you're in the public eye. Because otherwise it just looks like you're trying to fuel it. And at this point she should probably fuel it because her career is going downhill and fast. Another thing that I don't like is that she's stupid. And I know that sounds really mean, but I can't forget this. So she interviewed or talked with um, Neil deGrasse Tyson and she asked some of the straight up stupidest questions. I was cringing so hard while I was watching it. I really was. Like, let, look, just look at this. Why don't people like science? I, well, I don't know. They might fear it. They, maybe they didn't do I well in school. I think they're scared of it, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Exactly. Scared of the unknown. It's what we do for... I'm scared of the unknown sometimes. Is math related to science? Math is the language of the universe. Numbers. I mean, it's that straightforward. I know that people have done this before on your show, but I just want to go and do it once. <laughs> I mean... He didn't say anything of, like, crazily groundbreaking, like, yeah, math and science are related, no fucking shit. Oh my god. When she's like, the unknown. Numbers. And I'm like, how did you get this far in life? Like, we're... I don't know how she got this far in life without getting run over. Maybe she didn't figure out that cars can run people over yet. Oh my god, this is just so cringe. I remember watching PewDiePie's video saying that Katy Perry's a genius. That video is so funny. Take white light. What is it composed of? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. It's it's a crazy, but it's it's real. It is the real universe. <laughs> He's talking about what we at school, at least my chemistry teacher used to call it Roy G. Biv, like red, orange, whatever, whatever, and the light. And she's acting like she's never heard this before. Like she went to high school, right? I mean, this is all really obvious stuff. Why are there seven billion people? And why do each one of us have our own fingerprint? Most people who could be born will never be born, will never even exist. So the fact like that- Like sperm. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. I can't watch any more of this. Like, I'm physically uncomfortable. Like, I have goosebumps. It's so fucking cringe. But anyways, those were just, like, a couple of my reasons. I do think her music is really boring, and I think the lyrics are very predictable. And aside from that, I think one of the things that I notice the most is just how she's really pushing a kind of persona, and it just always seems really fake. Like, to me, she always kind of seemed like the poor man's Lady Gaga because Lady Gaga is edgy and has these this style but it's it's it seems innate to her as far as I can tell with Katy Perry it's just like 
people who get costumes at Party City compared to people who are in full cosplay. It's just not working right now. I, I don't know, I just see it as completely fake and I don't buy her shit. I really don't. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and let me know what you guys think.